Good morning, everybody. This is North Carolina Prepper. I have the first prototype up and working of the SVX uh, Echolink Raspberry Pi node. Mm, even a repeater put another radio in there. But basically, it's running off 12 volt right now, a 7.2 amp hour um, sealed lead acid battery. I've got this right now just running the power to everything. I'll eventually pull this apart and put it on a little board. Or I will upgrade to this, which has a. I was going to put this on my generator to give it a USB, but that's. I bought this like probably 10 years ago, so it ain't going to happen. So we can do better things now anyway. But I'll put these adapters in there on the battery. I may get a bigger case. And then for the radio, I went ahead and got a battery adapter that, like I said, I was going to cut down, but I can just plug it in there now and be done with that. So. Let me show you how to get the node up and running. Uh, I've got speakers attached to it now instead of the box on the radio because I don't want the radio to actually transmit while I'm screwing around. So it's just it'd just be boxed. But everything I built is in there. So let me go over here and show you how to start it. What we do is we type sudo or sudo as in somebody do it. Uh, SVX link and we're running headless now so there it is it's all running now now let me go down here and we'll type some commands um we'll make it identify I don't have my call sign in there so that's okay so it's star uh pound Six link online. Yankee. Oscar. Uniform. Romeo. Charlie. Alpha. Lima. Lima. Sierra. India. Golf. November. The time is 11.50 a.m. PL is 136.5 hertz. Press zero. Number sign for help. So you can see how that works. That would key up and that would transmit. It'll go to an echo link. I mean, I'm in echo link now, but I'm using a Wi-Fi dongle. Now... <clears throat> Um, we'll have to have some internet connection for this to work, unless it's a repeater, then it's just straight across to the adapter I made. But I'll be using my phone to do, uh, commands on the headless mode, so, there it is, um, and see, as you can see, it's listening for commands now. Um, out of the way. So, it's ready to go. I just have to plug that in instead of the, uh, well, I'll take out the green wire there and we'll replace it with my other wire, wherever it's at in there. And I'll solder everything together too. But you can see here's the echo link of the node, the adapter, everything's running. There's the, uh, the audio isolator I made down there, there's a battery. And it's just clipped in now. And I'll, I'll build terminals and put everything together right before I put it on the field. But that's it. It's it's pretty much a disposable repeater if you need. I mean, instead of plugging it into here, I could just plug it into a, another radio like that, and it'd just be a crossband or whatever repeater, depending on your your licensing levels. So there you guys go. This Echolink node is up and running after I change the configuration, put my real call sign in there and everything. But there you go. That's North Carolina Flipper. Please rate, subscribe, and have a great day, everybody. We got some exciting videos coming, like build a capacitor for a loop antenna. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back.